Urban gardening can be a thankless task. You can under or overwater plants very easily, and if you're out of town for any stretch of time, it's basically game over. Botanium is looking to change all this with their automatic hydroponic all-in-one system. My name is Ian Buckley, and this is the Make Use of Review of Botanium. Retailing at 69 euros, which is around $75, it does cost a little bit more than a completely DIY setup, but that's not really the point. This is aimed at people that just want absolutely stress-free plants on their windowsill. If you want to grow herbs, strawberries, or tomatoes, this is aimed at you. But the important questions are, does it work and is it worth the price? That's what I'm here to answer today. So the Botanium All-in-One hydroponic system was successfully kickstarted in 2017. They shipped units the same year, and it basically just comprises of two molded pieces of plastic. The top half contains the growing medium and seeds, and the bottom half is a water tank which also contains nutrients that they provide. Water is pumped from the bottom to the top and comes down through the growing medium, watering the seeds. It's a very simple system, and it's in fact how every hydroponic system works. As far as specifications go, there really isn't much to say. The plastic is hardened plastic, and it doesn't feel or look cheap, and it's attached to the wall via a normal 5 volt 1 amp socket, the kind that you would usually charge a phone or device with. The cable attaching it to the wall has a USB end, so you could use it with a different charger if you wanted, and that cable is 2 meters long, which means that if you have a spot which isn't particularly near a plug, you can still use botanium. In the box with Botanium is everything you need to get started. It comes with the Botanium unit itself, along with some growing medium, which are some porous rocks, a little bit like perlite or vermiculite if you ever used them in gardening in the past. And it also comes with a small pipette bottle of nutrient. It's a small bottle, but that's okay because you'll only be using a few drops of this at a time every time you fill it. You also get the aforementioned power bank, uh, along with a quick start guide and a manual. The kit doesn't come with any seeds, but you can buy them directly from Botanium for another 4 or 5 dollars, or you can of course just go and buy your own. This is a hydroponics kit after all, there's nothing special about it specifically, it's just the fact that it's an all-in-one unit that they're trying to sell. One thing that sets Botanium aside is how easy it is to set up. Now, I have done some previous work with hydroponics, I also am fairly familiar with just smart devices in general, so instead I asked my partner to set it up. Uh, with no prior knowledge of what she was doing, she sat down with the manual, and within five minutes everything was set up and ready to go. You set up Botanium by adding the growing medium to the top half of it and rinsing it through once, and then filling the bottom water tank and adding the appropriate amount of nutrients. It is worth noting that the manual just says to put in a certain number of drops, four I believe. Uh, the Botanium blog does actually have more details about whether you should put more or less in depending on what you're growing. It probably won't be a big deal, we still had good results anyway. So once set up, you just leave it in a sunny place and let it do what it's going to do. It is worth noting, however, that if you don't get much light in your apartment, this will work under any bulb that isn't incandescent. You could just get yourself a cheap LED lamp and place that over the plant and you'd still get decent results. When you plug it in, the watering system will kick in, and then every three hours from then it will water itself. And in principle, that's it. You're set up and you just have to wait until you get nice fully grown herbs or tomatoes or strawberries or whatever you choose to grow. The top half that houses the growing medium and the seeds simply lifts off which means that when the water level does start to get low, you can just lift the top off, empty that bottom part out, put new water and nutrient in, and slot it back on the top. There's no clasps attaching it, there's no weird valves or anything, it's just a quite nicely designed system that sits on the top, and in the entire time that we've had it, there's been no water leakage or any sign of anything like that. So what is life like with a botanium in your house? Well, I'm in a very unique position to review this product, because firstly, I live in a very, very small apartment with my partner. Also, I am someone who's worked extensively with microcontrollers in the past. I've actually built a hydroponic system for someone else before this. My partner, on the other hand, knows nothing about that, but is a very keen gardener. So between the two of us, we thought we could actually bring a little bit of knowledge to this thing if we needed to. The fact is, we haven't had to. It does what it says on the tin. So in short, the concept of setting it and forgetting it does work. Um, the one thing that we were a little concerned about is, as I say, we live in a very small flat and we were worried that the pump might make a little bit too much noise. In the entire time we've had it, uh, I've never heard the pump once. The only thing you hear when it turns on is a very slight trickling sound, which is just the water trickling through the growing medium. Botanium is a Swedish company, and this is something that is reflected in the aesthetics of the unit. One of the draws of this kit is that it embodies Scandinavian design, and I'm not particularly an aesthetic person, but I can't see this looking bad in anyone's house. It's a very nice thing, and as I mentioned before, the plastic is not flexible at all, it doesn't look cheap, it doesn't feel cheap. I think this would fit nicely in any modern house. In fact, everything about Botanium is set out to be aesthetically pleasing. The quick start manual is nicely illustrated and very, very clear. Uh, the unit itself looks great, the branding looks nice, and even the box it comes in has a very nice floral design. The important question though is, does this thing work? Nice aesthetics and design don't really mean much if it doesn't work. 
And it's an interesting problem for a reviewer because growing plants takes time. And how do I know if this thing's gonna work in the time that it takes to make a review? Well, as you're hopefully seeing on screen right now, it does work. I have some very healthy looking young coriander plants in my kitchen. And that's because I set it up on the day I received it and it's only been 10 or 11 days and yet already this thing is growing happily. As I said, we set this up on the day we got it and we haven't really messed with it since. In fact, the only times I've moved it was to get some different filming and photographic angles of it, which does bring me onto one point that is worth noting. Every time you plug this thing in, it will reset the system and it will water it again. Now, this shouldn't be an issue unless you're moving it around all the time, but that three hour window is based on when you plug it in and every three hours from then on. It doesn't have a clock or an internet connection or anything like that. Speaking on how it runs, um, this is a sealed unit that's meant to be safe from water, so I really didn't want to open it up and dig around inside it or anything. So I'm, I'm making an assumption here that it has a very simple microcontroller in it that just counts every three hours and sets the pump going. There's no app, there's no Wi-Fi connection, there's no little LCD screen, but all of these things are a plus point in my opinion because this is meant to just sit in the corner and be forgotten about. The only thing it needs is a gauge to see how much water in it, which it has. And that isn't a digital thing, that's just a little window on the side of the unit. In terms of water consumption, since we turned Botanium on, it hasn't run out of water. In fact, it hasn't even got close to getting half empty. I'm very confident that you could fill this up, say, before you went on holiday and come back to healthy plants. The other consumption to think about is power. It's not often you have to plug a plant pot into the wall, but the Botanium claims to only use five millivolts a day, and this sounds accurate to me because really you're only using power when the pump is initiated. Now, as I said at the very start of this review, this isn't the only way that you can do a home hydroponic system, but most of them involve either getting all the separate parts and putting it together yourself, or the few that do exist, which are like this, just all in one unit, tend to either not be particularly aesthetic pleasing or, unfortunately, not particularly well made. Botanium seems to have won on both of those fronts. The growing medium itself is reusable as well, so this isn't a one-use gimmick. Uh, the nutrient, if that runs out, you can get nutrient from most local stores. If you did want to change the growing medium, you could do that too. So in short, Botanium looks good and it does what it says it will do and for the 69 euro asking price I think it's pretty fair. It's aesthetically pleasing, it'll fit nicely in any house. Um, I find it very difficult to come up with any criticism for this thing. Uh, it's the kind of thing that I would probably buy as a gift. As a reviewer that's kind of unfortunate because criticism is what we are supposed to do but really this is a well thought out thing and if the price doesn't put you off and you want some herbs in your windowsill without having to even think about it, if you are a dedicated plant killer like me, Botanium will be perfect for you. I hope this review was useful to you. If you were thinking about getting Botanium but you didn't know how they worked or anything like that, I hope it's cleared that up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to make use of, consider doing so. We have tech tips and reviews as well as giveaways and tutorials on this channel. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Take care.